is actually not going to be uh, crazy high, like less than a car. Not $150,000 like the Unitree H1, not $75,000 like Boston Dynamics Robot Dog. Tesla Optimus, as declared by Elon Musk, is priced at less than half the cost of a car, which completely shocks you when a fantastic technology like Tesla equipped with AI and full self-driving is expected to come at such a price. How will this explode the robotics industry in the future? Considering Tesla's most popular model today, the Model Y, with a starting price of $43,990 and the Model 3 priced at $38,990 in the United States, Musk seems to be implying a price range below twenty dollars to $25,000 for Optimus. This crucial point is that it will gradually decrease over time as Tesla achieves significant manufacturing milestones. Initially, everything will be costly as this is a new technology with low production volumes. The complexity and cost of a humanoid robot are greater than that of a car. Therefore, it is expected to be lower than a car or at least equivalent to a highly anticipated Model 2 Redwood. This means that the production cost of the Optimus robot could be around 14 to 15,000 US dollars. This is just an estimate based on Tesla's electric vehicle manufacturing process. Production costs may increase over time based on inflationary trends. And you know, inflation won't stop. That's a law. To be honest, that's what we believe would be the approximate cost to produce a complete Optimus. Someday it'll be much cheaper, but Tesla needs to mass produce them to achieve their plans and cater to user demand. The number could reach 10 to 20 billion units at a price of 20,000 US dollars each because people might buy them as gifts for loved ones. Musk also stated that humanoid robots will constitute a significant long-term value for Tesla and will be present in every household in the future to perform production and service tasks. You know, Tesla once claimed that they could bring out each Tesla Model Y from the production line in just under 35 seconds to achieve over 2 million units in sales. This means the Tesla bot, being much smaller than an electric car, could assemble even faster. You can imagine that within 15 seconds, an automated humanoid robot could step out of the production area, immediately enter the manufacturing zone to perform tasks, or even step into a Model 2 before being delivered to the customer. So, even if it starts at $50,000 US dollars within a few years, it could decrease to $20,000 US dollars or even lower, especially for rental purposes, where it could be much cheaper. However, let's consider the economics of this. If you can replace a worker costing $30,000 US dollars, $40,000 US dollars per year that you have to pay annually with a one-time payment of $25,000 US dollars for a robot that can work longer hours, it's a relatively quick replacement for certain types of jobs. The robotics industry is becoming increasingly crowded with various types and technologies being applied, leaving us wondering what will be the thing to own in the future when they reach the pinnacle of technology. Even Boston Dynamics has plans to bring Atlas back into the game after a long hiatus, and they have the four-legged spot dog robot being sold at an attractive price of $75,000. So humanoid robots like Atlas would likely cost around 150,000 US dollars. Furthermore, we can see that Unitree H1, China's new humanoid robot, is asserting its position in the market. But the price tag of $150,000 seems to be out of reach for everyone. Moreover, developers have not yet been able to achieve human-like flexibility in the hands, which raises doubts about the benefits of these expensive humanoid robots. In particular, releasing an affordable robot model with Tesla's excellent AI technology and existing self-driving system would give users a sense of coherence in the product they are using. It wouldn't just be a regular product, but an ecosystem similar to how Apple revolutionized the smartphone industry with the first iPhone. You could immediately look at the phone you're using, a high-security MacBook, an Apple Watch, or the latest Apple Vision, all stemming from the first phone the ecosystem where you can securely and quickly share information and sensitive data. What new updates does Tesla Optimus have in 2024? Tesla is indeed planning to research its own 5G infrastructure to connect its electric vehicles and Optimus robots. This car manufacturer has early on integrated internet connectivity into all its vehicles. There are numerous reasons for this. 
It allows for software updates and wireless connectivity features while enabling Tesla to collect vast amounts of data. Tesla initially began with 3G connectivity and later upgraded to 4G LTE. However, now we know that this car manufacturer is looking to upgrade to 5G. Why does the Tesla bot need this mobile network connection? This seems to implicitly reveal that Tesla's plans extend beyond just within the factory as initially reported. It's possible that Tesla intends to deploy its own network within manufacturing facilities to maintain connectivity within its products, vehicles, and Optimus robot. However, if the products are capable of connecting to a 5G network, it can be assumed that they could also connect to public networks. The 5G network provides significantly lower latency, under 5 milliseconds, compared to the 4G network, which ranges from 60 to 98 milliseconds. Meanwhile, Wi-Fi offers a latency of 1 millisecond. In fact, the artificial intelligence controlling Optimus will be stored remotely, so you need the lowest possible latency. Currently, robots are controlled by AI or AI-assisted autonomous driving models based on local CPUs. But in the future, they'll use larger computers. Therefore, you'll need a larger local computer to deploy a humanoid robot workforce on the factory floor. To deploy them outside the factory floor, Optimus needs 5G connectivity and a massive AI deployment to control them worldwide. Although Tesla already has its own 5G infrastructure, it doesn't necessarily mean it's mentioned at Tesla's facilities. Through a private Starlink network stream, it provides global coverage for Tesla's vehicles and robots without relying on third-party intermediaries like T-Mobile. And we see this as a broader choice to build a network between vehicles on the road. There's no need for mobile towers if the vehicles themselves become mobile relays. Tesla might save a lot on connectivity by bypassing traditional providers and only using them when Optimus moves beyond the range of Wi-Fi. How does Tesla provide power to Tesla Optimus? Tesla plans to use its 4680 cells to power the Optimus robot, although many believe that this design may not be the most efficient for a humanoid robot. While the robot's body is large enough to contain 4680 cells, it may need a significant number of new cells to achieve the necessary voltage. Assuming Optimus will use a 48-volt electrical system, it will require about 12 cells connected in series to reach this voltage using NCM chemistry. Tesla could use a higher voltage to make Optimus operate more efficiently, but 48 volts is not an arbitrary value. It is a threshold at which electricity becomes dangerous to humans, so Tesla would not want anything higher. Even at 48 volts, Optimus's battery pack will need some kind of redundancy in case some cells fail. Ideally, it should have multiple 48-volt modules connected in parallel to increase power output and redundancy. Tesla states that Optimus's battery will have a capacity of 2.3 kilowatts. Assuming the estimated 26AH capacity of the 4680 cells, it'll need two parallel connected 48-volt modules to achieve a 2.3 kilowatt hour capacity. Using 2170 cells with about 5 AH would require 10 modules or 5 times as many cells. This would make the system more flexible and easier to manage thermals but would increase costs. This is why Tesla might prefer to use larger cells, especially when they can manufacture them in large quantities at the Giga Nevada facility. Additionally, it's not surprising that Tesla is considering using lithium iron phosphate LFP batteries for its next generation Tesla bot. LFP cells are about one-third cheaper than NMC cells, but have lower energy density. However, the latest advancements in LFP technology have improved these cells to the point where they can compete more effectively with nickel-based cells. Cattle is a leading company in LFP cell manufacturing, and Tesla's been collaborating with them. However, recent reports suggest that Tesla is betting on cattle to supply LFP batteries for its $25,000 car model. This could potentially extend to Optimus as well, as using fewer batteries alleviates concerns about supply shortages for the robot manufacturer. Previous reports indicated that Tesla aims to expand its battery production facility in Sparks, Nevada using idle equipment from cattle. With a production capacity of less than 10 gigawatts per year, this energy source may be used for research purposes. Additionally, a recent Bloomberg article pointed out that Cattle and Tesla will also collaborate to improve the chemical properties of LFP, particularly enabling faster charging and higher energy density. 
For Optimus to be truly useful as a factory assembly line robot, it needs enough battery capacity to sustain an entire eight-hour shift of continuous work, or so one might think, without considering human rest periods during work hours. With fast charging capabilities, Optimus would only need around 15 to 20 minutes of charging to have enough energy for the next period, and you could always have a spare Optimus ready to replace one in position when needed. Why don't you need to worry about Optimus? I wouldn't worry about the, the sort of putting people out of a job thing. Um, I think we're actually going to have, and, and already do have, a massive shortage of labor. At the peak of the pandemic, over 120,000 businesses temporarily closed, and over 30 million workers in the United States became unemployed. Since then, job opportunities have steadily increased, while the unemployment rate has been gradually decreasing. In 2022, recruiters created an additional 4.5 million jobs, unprecedented in history. A robust job market is good news, but many job opportunities remain unfulfilled because the United States lacks sufficient labor to fill them. Although we now have more Americans participating in the workforce than before the pandemic, the overall labor force participation rate has decreased. If current labor force participation rate were the same as in Feb 2020, we would have an additional 2 million Americans in our workforce to help fill those vacant jobs. Companies worldwide constantly face a persistent challenge. A global labor shortage is underway. In fact, two-thirds of global leaders have experienced labor shortages in the last 12 months. And with the emergence of breakthrough technologies like AI in the workforce, finding people with the right skills for the future becomes more challenging than ever. We can envision a range of goods and services that currently may not be profitable but could be realized in that world thanks to a legion of robots. Until now, artificial intelligence is enabling us to imagine a distinctively supported economy that would create this abundance. Well, AI and robots are poised to usher in what could be called the era of surplus. And the danger will be artificial general intelligence or digital superintelligence diverging from the collective will of humanity and going in directions that for whatever reason we don't like. In fact, that's the idea behind Neuralink, an attempt to more closely integrate the collective human world with the digital superintelligence. And along the way, it also addresses a lot of brain and spinal cord injuries and the like. So even if it doesn't achieve its larger goal, I think it'll succeed in reducing brain and spinal cord injuries. So the idea is if we're going to create these extremely intelligent AI robots, we have to directly interface with them so that we ourselves can have those superpowers more directly. But that seems to not avoid the risk that those superpowers might turn out to be ugly in ways that we don't intend. Perhaps one of the good things to ensure that the future is one we desire to more closely integrate the human world with digital intelligence. The issue we face here is that we're already becoming cyborgs, if you think about it. Computers are an extension of ourselves, and when we die, we're like a digital ghost. You know, all our messages, social media, and emails. And it's really quite strange that when someone dies, everything online still remains. Finally, what impedes the symbiosis between humans and machines? It's the speed of data. When you communicate, especially over the phone, your thumb moves very slowly, so you're essentially moving your two little sticks at a rate that might be 10 bits per second. Optimistically, 100 bits per second. And computers are communicating at the gigabyte level and beyond. To convince someone to buy a human-sized robot walking on two legs and theoretically capable of carrying an adult, you'd have to sell the idea of friendliness. Musk says it's designed for you to be able to run away from it and control it. What's important for robots is to have a localized chip that can't be updated remotely, and to be careful to ensure that this doesn't become a dystopian scenario like in sci-fi movies. He wants it to obey anyone who requests it to stop anything it's doing. What potential does Optimus have for Tesla and humanity in the future? The primary reason companies are developing humanoid robots is not to satisfy some wild sci-fi imagination. It's because human-like features allow them to replace humans in a world built for them. This makes humanoid robots ideal for carrying out repetitive, mundane, or hazardous tasks. They can also ensure a consistent job quality as they're not affected by fatigue, illness, or simply having a bad day. This is why robots are primarily seen as problem solvers, addressing labor shortages and other issues. Robots can work in any condition and can perform tasks that humans typically avoid. They also significantly increase productivity, incentivizing companies to use more robots instead of humans. 
Robots have many advantages over humans. They're more reliable, work harder, and ultimately are cheaper. Robots don't need health care. They don't go on strike. They don't require retirement benefits. They don't take vacations and are quite happy to work nearly continuously, saving time for recharging breaks. Even for households, robots can assist in caring for the elderly and disabled while providing companionship and support for the lonely. Elon Musk believes that Optimus has the potential to become more important than Tesla's vehicle business. This is not much different from what he said about Tesla's fully self-driving program. The latter is much more important because the Optimus program also depends on it. That's why Musk openly states that it could make or break Tesla. Without FSD, Optimus would just be a shiny metal toy with little value. The potential of Optimus is not just a regular commercial product. It opens the door to an incredibly promising future for Tesla and the world. Using the Optimus robot in Tesla's production line is just a small part of the automation revolution they're pioneering. From mining to agriculture, from delivery services to healthcare, there's no industry that cannot be improved and optimized by the presence of intelligence robots like Optimus. With learning and adaptive capabilities, Optimus can complete various tasks that previously only humans could do. They not only perform tasks more efficiently and accurately, but also can work continuously without needing breaks. This not only brings cost savings, but also creates a safer working environment for humans. How do you feel about these latest updates of Tesla's Optimus, and what are your expectations for its future improvements? We appreciate your thoughts down in the comments below. Hopefully, you have the most relaxing feeling after watching our video. Hit that like button and join your Tesla Car World family by subscribing to the channel. And don't miss out on any of our awesome videos by hitting that bell icon. Thanks so much for watching. Until then, stay safe and have fun. Thank <laughs> you.